Should I like sell this on eBay or something? I mean, I think this is gorgeous. Good morning, everybody. It's actually 2.42 in the afternoon, and I just got done with like a three hour nap, actually, because I was so tired this morning. I went to bed late, but I still, I woke up on time, and I did my run this morning, and I'm really happy I didn't break my streak, but I'm really tired today, so I'm gonna be going to bed early. Guys, we're here at the world famous Joanne Fabrics. I feel like my mom right now. Going to get some art supplies, make some stuff. I bet I'm gonna be like the youngest guy in there. So, I'm already wrong. I guess there are other guys in this store. What I'm here for is to get supplies for this clock I want to build. I need some wood, I need a clock, I need dominoes. And some glue, and we're good to go, right? Please ask a team member for assistance with these items. <laughs> Guys, it's weird. There's some ghosts in this store. Hey, man, would you mind moving your cart so I can get by? Ghosts are rude. All right, all I need is a clock. And dominoes. Do you guys have clocks? Clocks? Yeah. Um, no, I don't think so. We have just accessories. Do you guys have dominoes? Dominoes, no. What kind of craft store doesn't have dominoes or clocks? That was such a good deal, only $42, and I still don't have the clock and the dominoes, and then after I spend like three hours on this, I mean, like, that's a great deal. This is so much cheaper than I could have just bought a clock for. Here we are at the greatest place on earth. Walmart, baby. Gonna get ourselves a clock and dominoes. Growing up, I remember people talking about Walmart, like these, you know, like middle-aged housewives, and they acted like Walmart was like some gang area or something. They'd always talk, oh my gosh, I was at Walmart, it was so scary. There were people looking at me funny. Like guys, it's, it's Walmart, okay? Nobody's gonna kill you in Walmart, chill out. So I got my dominoes, double six dominoes, halfway there. Now I've just gotta find a clock. Okay guys, all I need is the clock. You ever say a word so many times, it just doesn't make any sense anymore? Clock, clock, clock. Clock, 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 clock. Oh my gosh, look at this. Clocks. I literally had no idea they were right here. Perfect timing. So I finished my Walmart shopping. I got a chair. I got everything. Now it's like sunset out here. It is pretty actually. And we're off to go build this thing. See you guys, we got nine miles left and it's about eight miles home. Challenge accepted. Okay, so it's actually 12 miles home. I don't think that's gonna be challenge accepted. That's gonna be challenge just stupid. So we'll push it a little farther, but we're gonna have to definitely get gas before we go all the way home. I'm curious if you guys have interesting ideas. I wanna hear them because I, I've got some, but they're all like a lot of work or expensive. What do you guys think? What are some interesting ideas for a new vlogger? I'm open to your ideas, tips, and suggestions. I feel like I'm doing this in a lot of videos. I'm setting a bunch of junk on this table and then going for it. So, here we are. We are ready to make the DIY clock. We have our clock. We have our Fiesta string. We have our dominoes, our very responsible plastic to put over the table so it doesn't get destroyed. We have our hair coloring. Don't know why that's in there. We have our glue. We have our glitter. We have our paint. We have our jingle bells. We have our teddy bear paper and a paintbrush. My incredible set of genuine IKEA tools. Oh man, I'm so gonna fuck this up. I'm so gonna fuck this up. Let's get started, shall we? First thing we gotta do is put this plastic wrap over everything so I don't destroy everything. There we go. It covers more than I thought. This would have been very useful to have when I did the watermelon rubber band thing. Oh. 
All right, so I think the first thing I need to do is cut the wood. Now this is gonna be a lot harder to cut. Have it there. See, this one can be ugly because this is just the, the support in the back. So if it looks terrible, it's not even a big deal. Now we break out the glue. Something I'm now thinking of is, I don't know how fast this glue dries. I hope it's like a quick drying glue. Oh my gosh, allow 24 hours for curing. Ah. All right, we're gonna give this like 15 minutes. It's been about 15 minutes, so not near close to the 24 to 72 hours it's supposed to take to dry. So let's see how this looks. Ah, shoot, that one doesn't stick well enough. Oh. Boom! Doesn't look terrible. Okay, so we're done with that. The glue's gonna have to dry because this stuff is like super slow drying. And, uh, and then we'll do some decorations. This is the beautiful domino clock. Oh my gosh! Do you see this expert craftsmanship? It's amazing. So now's the fun part. Now we're gonna decorate this thing. You gotta glue the clock. You gotta stick the clock up in here. We don't need batteries. Batteries? <laughs> Who's got time for batteries? This one. Look at that, beautiful. You got the clock, we got the hands in there. You see that? that that's some craftsmanship. So now we get to decorate this. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, woo, look at that. That is, I mean, that's fantastic right there. This is like, this is like a Jackson Pollock painting right there. Poop right there. Stick a jingle bell in it. There we go. Pipe cleaners. So it's kind of just coming out at you. Yeah, that's great. Now this is a genuine teddy bear ribbon. Oh my. Oh goodness gracious. It's so beautiful. That's it. And oh, one last thing. Let's see. Let's do a little bit of... There we go. Woo! So guys, that is the vlog. Like and subscribe. I hope it was good. And uh, if you want to make this yourself, just go uh, check, subscribe to my YouTube channel and, uh, and you'll get more great tips like this one. What's it, Brian?